All right. Thank you, sir. I'll go unload it right now. Hello, everybody. I figured I'd start the episode out by selling us some fires since I forgot about them. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's not good. But anyway, welcome back to another episode of Goldcrest Valley 19 here on Farming Simulator 19. Your host with not the most, Mr. Blue. 9,662 for that, folks, bringing us up to 15,000. Um, yeah, how y'all doing? Y'all doing that? I'm doing just good. Meet you back at the farm. Show you some good things. All right, we're pulling in the farm here. As you can see on the right here, we got some sugar beets. And also, we got a cotton field and another field of sugar beets to do. So, we're going to be harvesting. Of course, it's late in the evening, 1645, which is what, 445, so almost 5 o'clock. We're going to leave that right there. Switch this off. Um, there was something else I was going to do. I can't think what it was. Oh, we need to sell these. Wow. Let's come over here and sell these real quick. I'm just going to use the auto load on the truck. The ones on the left right here, we're going to keep. We got to go through that. Actually, we're not going to keep them. We're, oh, we're just going to sell them. We'll load these up first and pull through. Oh, come on. Put the rest of them on there. There we go. Grab that before you grab the rest of them. I don't know what grass bales sell or not. Come on, load up. There we go. And this is what's left off of uh, this field over here. So we we going to go ahead and sell them. We need the money anyway. All right, All right we're going to go you and him. And that loads them straight onto the trailer. So they are legit heavy on the trailer now, as I would call it. Now let's watch this prices up here. Try to get Roy and see and pull in too. Should start selling. Now it's going on, but. Okay, it went down. Still selling. Oh. Uh, Alright, eight, three, five, eight for that. Nine over three. I'm hitting the bill. Alright, that's all though. Alright, uh there nine over three there. I thought it was gonna be more than that. But hey, it brought us up to twenty six thousand. We need that folks. We got to rent some equipment. Um, I'm gonna park this right here. Yeah, park it right here. Alright, let's go hop on a cotton pick. Alright, they said everything was greased up and ready. Double checked from the last time. So uh, we're, we're going to get Larry Mustin to drive this thing. Yep, he, he's going to be driving it for us. Uh, so we took the header. Um, we're going to get him started right here. Try not to knock the sign down. And I, I might or let him drive. I might knock it down. Yep, there it goes. <laughs> All right, uh, cotton's going in, hiring a worker. Oh, no, 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 no. Can't hire that worker. <sighs> Let's see, we're going to go up and down. We're going to go very like that. Turn that off. Okay, it should be ready to go. Back at just a tiny bit. Hire a worker. Contract on field 25, it's finished. All right. I had um, Christy Nicola over there. Christy was uh, spraying some fertilizer for us. All right, Larry, don't you wreck it. Let's go see if we can find Christy real quick on the map, even though it's going to auto save. All right, got to stop, Christy. 
that contract should be done. Uh, next one's going to be field 26. Let's make this quick and go in here. Okay, 25 is done. Yeah, I want to collect. Bill 1 is done. Collect it. Uh, so we got 4, 11, 26. 26 is the biggest one, then 11, then 4 is at the top of the map. So that's how we're going to be going. So, uh, yeah. Let me get over to field 26 and I'll see y'all there. And then we'll check on, the check on Larry and the cotton picker. All right, here we go, folks. We're going to line Christy up here and she's going to just take over for us. Did I have her? I think, yeah, she's a regular worker. Okay, good. All right, let's run across here. Check on uh, Larry real quick. I see the train. Uh, I see some pink cotton here. Ooh, oh, ow, that hurt. Get so excited, ran in the pole. Okay, yeah, I don't like the way you're turning around. But we're gonna we're gonna watch Larry inside camera here. I love the duels on the cotton picker. I'm paying no attention to that this uh, Elizabeth. Larry's driving it. He he wanted to drive the one with the bells coming out the back, but I said he, he's gonna have to start here. All right. We want to go to the shop, to the shop, shop, shop. We want to go to the technology. Ho, 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 ho. We're going to get the six XL Tiger. Or T. That's Tiger. Yeah. yeah. Oh. All right. Um. Michelin tire bar. It don't matter. I want GPS on. Um, tire bar, the trailer board, I should say, GPS, and we're going to, ooh, 26,000, we're going to lease it for 26,000, folks, yes, okay, that's going to eat a hole in the pocket, but hopefully, all right, so I need a 9 by 45, so we go over here and go to the technology. Dun, 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 dun. 945 is there. Seven miles per hour, four meters wide, and a whoop 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 whoop. Uh, details, please. Uh, lease, yes. Yeah, oh, okay. Alright. I think we're just going to. Uh, let me meet you at your shop. We got something to sell over there too, I forgot about. Alright, there's our sugar beet machine. I, for, I, I probably could have bought it straight out. I forgot this thing is sitting here. John's like, you wanna come uh, sign the paper so I can sell this thing? So yeah, folks, we're selling it for 335744. Sell. 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 And it's gone. Alright, 344915. I when I this thing's like four hundred and something thousand dollars. They put this where. Oh yeah, that's where I hooked it. Okay. How did I get in this thing? Where would I get in? Oh man, I forgot about those being up here too. Yeah, I just climb up this way. Might not be OSHA approved, but hey. Oh my God, it's a video game in here. All kind of buttons and stuff. Alright, um, let's go out of this so I can see what I'm doing. We gotta go pick those sugar beets before he runs over with the cotton picker. Which I don't think it's actually going to matter because he's a hired worker. Now, if I was doing it, it would probably tear them all to pieces. Alright, watch out, folks. Beacons, um, flashers. Turn some headlights on to you. I want to make sure they see this big box coming down the highway. All right, I'll meet you over there. All right, I'm fixing this my turn by looking at the uh, iPad. Oh, uh, we, we gotta find a uh, a tipper that will take sugar beets. 
Now, what it's going to use is the old fashioned way with a tractor and a mower and, and a harvester on the back of the tractor. Let's step out real quick. We're going to block the road. We're going to tell Larry to get these couple of rows right over here. Everything good to go. All right, Larry. I, I appreciate it. I, I really like how you taking on the machine there and ain't hit nothing nowhere I like that even raising the header up going backwards I even like that might hire you for full time on my farm don't get it in the sugar beets now One thing about this cotton picker, it do, does not have headlights on it, so. And it looks like he's going to have two whole rows. Oh, wow. All right. It's always something. All right. Flashers, uh, hazards, uh, said hazards off. Uh, there we go. Um, okay, I need to unfold it. Oh. Uh, no, that was folded. Ah, I need to unfold the body. Oh, there's the ladder coming out now. Uh, conveyor belt coming out. Other things raising up. Okay. And on we go. Um, put the header down. We're going to get some cotton stalks here. Hope we don't stop it up. Might damage a row of cotton. I don't know. I hope not. All right, now I got GPS on this thing. So, uh, not quite there yet. All right, that should be it. Now I'm gonna go in here real quick and I'm gonna auto with, that's what I thought, okay. No offset, that's good. Turn GPS on. Sit back and relax. Drink my tea. Eat me a cheeseburger. Wait, what am I talking about? I got me a bottle of water, folks. I don't think I just sit here and drink soda pop soda. Oh, don't answer that. Don't answer that. Ah. I have been drinking a lot of them here lately. I'm trying to slap myself. Stop from doing it. No, we going outside a little bit, drinking more water than ever. All right, how's this going to work? I'm going to mess up some cotton. I mess up too much, okay. Um, I'm going to back up a little bit. Trying to get me a turnaround spot here going. before he gets back to this end. Probably could have backed all the way up and been done by now, but... tear up some, I tear up some, I just, I can't turn this big thing around too many tight spots. Look like I'm going to do pretty good. Oh, oh, get out of the cotton, get out of the cotton. Hey, look there, I made it. And it looked like Christy is done with that contract over there. Oh, wow. 
Um, Christy, you're just going to have to sit over it for a little bit. I need to make at least a round. Oh, oh. Scoot over, scoot over, scoot over. I don't know what. I actually need them good. That'll be tomorrow's project. That'll be tomorrow's project. Do I have enough for Oh, I'm taking some trigger beats out. Alright, folks, don't judge. Don't judge. Trying to do a turnaround here without losing too much cotton or getting hit by the train. I think we're doing pretty good. We'll get that little spot right there when we'll turn around. If we keep that in front of the cotton picker. I'm about a quarter of the way full. And as soon as I get turned around, hands free going back down that way. But lay it back and all the way up. Well, that pulled back and all the way up when he could have just turned around and came down. Oh well. He's done a good job. Larry, good work. Don't hit each other now. Coming beside you. All right. Working out like a glove. Right, I'm going to have to. Uh, oh, yeah. That's what I was going to do. Hands free mode. Go in here. We got to look at the tippers. We got to find something big. Let's go all the way over first. I don't think I want all them. Good lord. A lot of things to choose from. I don't know which one to get. Ooh, wait a minute. Is it dude? Sugar beets and potatoes. 35,000. Bye. Yes. Okay. I'll get out of here. Ooh, just in time, just in time. Now that is what I am talking about. Make sure ain't nobody coming. I don't want to hit nobody. Or anything. And GPS might be just a little off. It's doing all right. I think the cotton picker is going to get in front of me. Uh, Larry is 47% full. The, hop, uh, the cotton module's over there. Got to get another tractor put on it so he can uh, pack. So yeah, we got this cotton field there, that little piece as you see going around over there, and across the bridge there, we got probably an acre, if that, over there. So what I'm going to do, uh, as, as 19, about 20 minutes in right now, I don't want to make this another 50 minute episode or 40, ever how it was yesterday. So uh, I'm going to get some of this done. Oh. Sorry, folks. I'm not leaving nothing for how much this thing costs. We're getting every beat out here. Even if it's too legit. Hey, hey, hey. Too legit. Okay. Yes, MC Hammer was one of my uh, music things when I was growing up. 
inspiration, or whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to make another circle here, or another through. Try to get us enough room to turn around. Get Larry enough room to turn around without running up over. I keep wanting to say spuds. But anyway, folks, let me get somewhere on this and I'll be right back. All right. See you in a second. All right. Couldn't hold it no more. But I got the truck down here before he got filled. Um, I started them over here instead of going over there because I didn't want them to be fighting and turning around and stuff. So uh, when cotton picker gets over here, uh, beet beater, <laughs> the sugar beet machine will be hopefully over there or something. Um, don't know how I'm going to work out this little corner. I also got field 12. And I forgot, I got storage for this. This is going to go into that green building over there. That's right, folks. I, I forgot we could store our stuff there. We just, if we sell our stuff from there, oh, I'll be lucky back into the cotton zone. But if we sell our stuff from there, like use the train, then they charge us. So, we're just storing it. They'll uh, let us do that. So. Right, here we go. Our GPS got off a little bit from the hard worker I have. Yeah, right, we'll put back on track here. We're gonna hire our worker out because I still gotta go get a tractor for the module builder. And the cotton seventy three percent layers on seventy three percent full, so yeah. well, I don't want to get hot back. Right, I'll be right back. Alright, since Larry's almost full. We both agreed to follow the field over. And, uh, yeah, this is what I'm talking about. He's all up in the cotton field. But he's a hired worker right now. So he's not going to damage nothing for being a hired worker. So that's the one good thing. Dude, you got to take that much. Let's look around in the cab. It's. FM AM radio, they've got the heater. Uh, pretty much nothing over here except fire extinguisher. And our gears and stuff, warning labels, and that tells our temp and speed and stuff like that. I actually drove one like this. It, it didn't have dual wheels on it, but the basket did raise up and down uh, during transport. Uh, didn't get to drive it very long though. <laughs> Y'all probably be like, uh, oh, what for it, Mr. Blee? Did you mess up or something? No, I, I didn't mess up, folks. <laughs> uh, funny story. I got spider bit working on the cotton picker. Yeah, I was underneath, uh, it was muddy conditions anyway. We shouldn't have been out there picking cotton. And, uh, you know, it just got dry enough to get in the field. And, uh, oh, we was balling up with mud and stuff. We had to get underneath and clean the pipes out a couple times. And, oh, uh, I guess somewhere along that, I got bit. I didn't know, because at first it just, it came up like a pimple. It was out of nowhere. On my left arm, kind of on my armpit there, it came up as a pimple, and sure enough, it started hurting badly. No, oh, don't hang the train track. Oof. All right, what I'm gonna do here is go back to here and cut across here, and it'll help get the work some of these sugar beets out. Oh, look at there, Larry's getting on the right rows. I like riding with a professional. Now, this field's going to be messed up because some of it's going to be lined, some of it's not. And so what I think about doing is throwing 
getting it ready for cotton again. This is a pretty good field for cotton. Uh, if all of it was cotton. So we're going to have it cotton one more year. And uh, yeah. So I'm going to blime everything, fertilize everything, and then uh, get everything ready for uh, next year when we go plant cotton. All right, let's see. I'm going to jump on these rows, or Larry's going to jump on these rows, looks like. <clears throat> But yeah, I bet the dual wheels on the cotton pickers would be a lot smoother than what the singles I had. That was pretty rough. Uh oh. Larry, oh. <laughs> Let me back up and do this right. Oh, look looked like kind of spinning there, Larry. Getting that weight on that machine when it is. I had to go down. Oh, look at that. It is trying to spin. And I'm still missing. I mean, he's still missing. Yeah, all right. And I'll probably like, what am I going to do with all this money? Well, folks, I've been wanting to get my cow pen for a while now. I know we ain't quite full yet, but I'm going to go ahead and dump. But yeah, I'm only getting cows or sheep. I got to get close, I know that. So I don't get too close. Alright, let's uh, pipe out. Zoom in a little bit here. Oh, look at Larry done a good job. I wish they'd change the color to white. And what that is, that's the color of the chart. When you pull it out, you'll you'll notice it or remember how the oven looked over. The sugar beet machine's doing pretty good. It's uh 41%, so I'm going to try to work a few rounds over here. That way we won't be damaging, or let Larry work a few rounds, I should say. So, uh, I'm going to get some of this cotton out of the way. That's probably going to give us the most money. Let's see, we're going to go down here just a little. I actually thought it made a boo boo cutting across the end like that down there. All right, Larry, you can have your machine back for a minute. Folks, I got to go check on Christy. I think she done. I done moved her once before. Let's go ahead and collect 26, collect 11, and then uh, we need to move her to field four. Um, can I run across there? So we're up to what? 321,000 something dollars. But some of that's going to go in the leveling. We, oh, there she is. Yeah, right, I'm going to get her over to field four, I think it was. Uh, yep, field four, which is, yeah, we're going to have to plow some of that. I kind of figured we're going to have to have, yeah, got some work to do on that. Uh, field four, right there. Okay. I want to buy buy a new piece of field but I don't know which one I really need but yeah I need to get that animal pen that uh, cow barn up there it's going to cost 
pretty good penny, about two fifty actually. Oh yeah, got to start the engine first. All right, let me get her. Oh, we're thirty minutes in, ain't we? All right, let me get her to fill four, and we'll come back and see what we got left on the cotton and stuff. Be right back. All right, I got the sugar beet machine going back down on this side. Uh, we've done some around that one field, but we're going to come back over here and get started. Just because. And Christy is done on contract field four. So let's go in there. Dang, auto save gets me every time. All right, field four. We're going to collect. Now we got plowing on 18, we still ain't done, and two these transports. We might not worry about them. Um, good thing is we got the loan paid off, and we sold that big monster and got back some cash. Uh, next episode, I really don't know where we're going to be at. Let's see. Our Sunfires went for... A little more than that. It was like 27 something. I don't know if I showed y'all that or not. But the cotton right now is it stopped. It hopefully it'll go back up. And our highest sugar beet is $161.86. You can go Ms. Ridge Acres. So yeah, that's that's gonna be something. But anyway, uh, as you can see here. Zoom in. We like this in blue in the sugar beets, and she's. Uh, I don't know who I got doing that. Uh, yeah, we got a lot of people. We got uh, a dozen here uh, plowing. Nothing's cultivating. Uh, Larry's here. We got Boo on, or or Lizzie or Betsy on the sugar beet machine for now. Um, so yeah, we got four people going. I'm planning to work till I can't see no more. Now, the reason why I'm saying that, this thing don't have lights on. And when it stops, everybody's going to stop the play. I think I need to turn around on the ends. But anyway, folks, I'm going to cut it here because it's getting, what are you doing? Keep doing your job, I guess. But anyway, I'm going to end it here. Do some of this off screen and probably bring it back almost done in the next episode. And we'll go from there. So I, I hope y'all enjoyed this. I know what very much to it and I was all over the place. But, you know, it's picking cotton. And Larry, when you can't see... You're going to have to get a flashlight or something because there's no lights on this. I'm hitting the buttons for the lights. There, There's no blinkers, no flashers, no nothing on this thing. So, yeah. Hey, well, we can inspect it by as is. But, folks, I'm going to watch these two make sure they don't collide in each other. Picker's doing a pretty good job getting there and back, so... Uh-oh. Betsy just turned her lights on. You know what that means. All right, folks. I appreciate it. I love each and every one of y'all. Keep doing what y'all are doing. Y'all are awesome. Don't forget to check out some of my links down below. Uh, other YouTubers. Uh, to go to them, just, just say hi. Mr. Blue sent me over. Or I came from Mr. Blue channel or something. Just uh, E L E. As uh, DJ Goham says, Every everybody love everybody. E L E. Everybody love everybody. Why should we fight on YouTube? Why should we, you know, be given hate comments and stuff? There's no sense in all that, folks. E L E. We're all going to love everybody. Oh, oh, man. All right, Larry. You, you gotta continue. I gotta get the truck over there. She she is full. Ow. Alright, folks. I love each and every one of y'all. And, and I mean it. Y'all are awesome. So y'all have a great day. 
a blessed day. I'll see you in the next episode. Uh-oh, this truck's almost full. Oops.